happening guys? I'm Aiden from DK Tune. Today's video is on this gorgeous little Aboff 595 competitor, the UNA. <laughs> it's having a AirTech intercooler, a Scorpion DCAT downpipe, also a Forge intake system, a uh, full service, and a silver map to tie it all together as well. So we'll be doing the uh, all the work then mapping it and then we'll be taking it out for a dyno and we'll tell you the all important power figures. So, let's get it. So over at the Aboff, Jake is now currently trying to get the V-band off of the turbo uh, to get the Scorpion decat downpipe, which is in the background. Um, he's already got the air intake off um, and we've got a new induction kit to go on this as well, a full forged carbon fibre one. So that's going to look absolutely sick. He's also got the front bumper uh, loose so that you can pull that off and then put the new AirTech uh, intercooler on as well. So then there'll be a pretty strong stage two. Uh, the original figures are in here. It should have been making 180 brake horsepower, it's actually making 168. So it's uh, lacking a little bit, but hopefully we can boost that up with our stage two and make it a little track weapon. As you can see guys, the old pipe is now out um, with the, the cat would have been attached to this obviously. Um, and now we've got the new decat pipe to put in on top of here that goes onto the turbo. As you can see in front of us, the new decat downpipe Scorpion pipe is now in the Aboff and it looks sick. What's happening guys? So we're out in the Great Aboff. So, when we did the work, obviously, uh, I didn't get a lot of footage um, of that because I was actually on holiday when we had this car in. Uh, I came back on the last day um, and was busy with loads of different madnesses that you've probably already seen. Some of them, uh, some of them are already uh, to go, ready to go off as well. Uh, so we didn't get a chance to do the dyno. So today the customer has come back uh, to have his dyno. So we're gonna take it out, do some pulls, see what a madness this car is, and then that'll be pretty much it. So let's get it. Proper usable power guys, so obviously with our TDO4s, uh, they're coming a little bit later than this, um, coming a lot more aggressive, don't they, yeah? Uh, so this is more linear power, um, still pretty much just as fast, I guess there's 20 or 30 brake difference, okay, I reckon, right. something like that. Um, but it sounds a lot louder from turbo end instead of the exhaust, um, and obviously it's a lot more usable power. Uh, than the aggressive put down of a TDO4. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice car to drive as well. Um, really allowable power. Uh, so you could definitely overtake a couple of cars without, uh, you know, spinning it up and sending yourself into a bush, basically. Yeah. <laughs> usable in the west, usable in the dry. Yeah. Probably a lot more usable on the track compared to a TDO4. You know, aggressive they're coming and stuff. Yeah. Just, just all round easier to drive and it's still, still nice and fancy. So. Yeah. So as you can see, the Aboff is all done. It made 218 brake horsepower and 284 newton meters of torque. So around about right on the money uh, to what we thought for the stage two. So if you want a stage two or any other uh, mapping or exhaust works on your Aboff or any other car, then please do not hesitate to message us on Instagram 
and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.